Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom Georgian for Rick Kwan tonight. Well, it's no secret that the cost of housing here in the islands is out of reach for many Hawaii residents. And more and more Kama Aina are being priced out of the market. KITV Forest Kristen Concilio joins us tonight with the latest on how the state is trying to solve this growing crisis before more people end up on the streets. Kristen. Well, Mika, the housing crisis is top of mind for many residents and developers say they're trying to build as many new affordable units as possible, but they need to cut through the red tape. System real easy to take down. After 15 months on wait lists, Eric Jepson finally had his first interview today to get into low income housing, but it could take even longer just to get a roof over his head. Yeah, I am desperately trying to find housing, but I'm not getting chaotic about it or getting really losing my mind over it because I know things take time. I've heard of people waiting five to six years to get on HUD and they had children and they were families. Jepson, who's now 65, lives at Magic Island. And now that he's off the wait list, another long process involving more applications, interviews and background checks. Very, very slow. I just thought it was because they were so full that some people have to come off before others can get on. Like people have to pass away, people have to move on in their life. And I've learned to be patient at this at my age. A $40 million rental complex with more than 100 units for low-income Kupuna is just one of the latest affordable housing projects being built in Honolulu. But even with hundreds of millions of dollars earmarked for new affordable units, that won't even make a dent because the need just keeps growing. Here in Hawaii right now, it's very, very urgent. The housing situation here in Hawaii is at a very critical stage as it relates to the homeless. I mean, as you drive around, look around, you see all these homeless people, uh, families, not just individuals, that are suffering in dire situations. According to the most recent state estimates, Oahu needs more than 21,000 new units to be built by 2030. But developers say the government approval process is getting in the way of rapidly building more affordable housing projects. These uh, low-income housing tax credit projects will take you anywhere from four to five years. That's a long time. So the process is broken. And, you know, this, in that time period, uh, all these people are suffering. Not only suffering, but growing. It's escalated. We've got a whole new generation of homeless. Now developers are calling on state leaders to issue an emergency proclamation to build more affordable units to quickly get people housed. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.